We know that many victims and survivors of domestic violence are currently sheltering in place with their abusive partner, and we have started to hear from many survivors who are explaining to us about how COVID-19 is impacting their relationship, how abuse is beginning to escalate in the home, or how they're being further isolated from their social networks, their social support systems, employment, financial impact. It's quite a scary situation for many women across the country. What we've been hearing is that we have had situations where the survivor is trying to leave, but shelters are currently not doing uh, intakes or they're full. Uh, they cannot go to their family members or their friends' houses in fear of exposure. Certainly, if their parents are elderly, they're not wanting to go and, and take their children over there. Um, we're really hearing a lot of scary stories about how uh, one woman was being prevented to go to work. She wasn't in a community where there was a shelter in place, um, and her partner brought out a firearm and began to load the firearm as a method to keep her in the home. And she said that had never happened before. This was the first time she'd seen something like this escalate. We've also heard from women who ended up calling 911 um, and that when the police came out, they said that these were low violent crimes and they weren't in a position to detain the abusive partner. And so that's a scary situation for a lot of survivors. What we're really hoping to do right now, recognizing that it is going to be very difficult for a survivor to call a hotline when their perpetrator is sitting right next to them, or to be able to enter into an online chat with an advocate when their abusive partner's watching what they're doing. There could be serious consequences for a survivor in those situations. So we're imploring friends, family, neighbors to contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline on behalf of someone else, because you may be their only lifeline to education, safety information, while we're working through situations where people can't flee the home. As survivors are calling us, we're working with those local communities to try to place them. Uh, we had a pastor who called us yesterday trying to get shelter for a victim, and it looked in two different states um, and wasn't being successful in finding a, a location for that individual. So we know that these are really dire. So unfortunately, uh, we're doing a lot of safety planning in place strategies. Um, we're talking with survivors about if, an, if a fight breaks out, a violent incident breaks out in the home, where's the safest place to move in the home? Can you take time for yourself, uh, whether it's a shower, uh, journaling, taking just a quiet moment to be able to gather your strength, recognizing that you are courageous, you're strong, you're brave, you're surviving every day. But there's not a lot of resources out there right now, Amy, for people to actually get connected to.